the words of Nekamyahu, the son of Kakoyah. And it came to pass in the month Kislev, in the 20th year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, that Kananai, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Yehuda, and I asked them concerning the Yehudim that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Yerushalayim. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Yerushalayim also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted, and prayed before the Elohi of heaven, and said, I beseech you, O Yahuwah Elohi of heaven, the great and terrible El, that guards the covenant and shows mercy for them that love him and guard his commandments. Let your ear now be attentive and your eyes open that you may hear the prayer of your servant, which I pray before you now, day and night, for the children of Yasharel, your servants, and confess the sins of the children of Yasharel, which we have sinned against you. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against you and have not guarded the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments, which you commanded your servant Moshe. Remember, I beseech you, the word that you commanded your servant Moshe, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if ye turn unto me and guard my commandments and do them, Though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heavens, yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are your servants and your people, whom you have redeemed by your great power and by your strong hand. O Adonai, I beseech you, let now your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant and to the prayer of your servants, who desire to fear your name, and prosper, I pray you, your servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer.